He's going to tell us all about the culture of sharing. Please give a big hand for Sasha. Everyone's excited. You know, it's Give, give me 10 seconds before because I know why, why, they, why they're giving us a, a beer over here and why the slides are just only lasting for five minutes because you're getting on a kind of pressure to go to the restroom. I have a couple of beers before you get through these five minutes so easily and that's what I actually did, so kick it off. So I would like to uh, talk about the culture of sharing, right? And uh, this is what, what it's all about. That's what we're doing here in these two hours. We are sharing ideas and to really understand the culture of sharing we need to understand the definition of the word culture, where the word culture comes from. And of course, I'm looking it up on Wikipedia. So the first sentence that comes up, the set of shared attitudes, values, goals, and practices that characterize an institution, organization, or group. So that's the first sentence on Wikipedia for culture. So the term sharing is already in there. The problem for me as growing up in Germany was I had to learn Latin for six years in school and I was such a bad student. But at least I can take some advantage out of this tonight because I know where the term culture comes from. It's cultura or cholera. That's a Latin term and it pretty much means to cultivate, to inhabit or to admire. And last but not least, it's the next uh, slide, obviously. Uh, it's going to... Uh, it, 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 it means to take care. To really take care of things. To take care of yourself. To take care of your friends and your family. To take care of your environment. To take care of your community. And to take care of your ideas and your experiences. And obviously, this little doggy... I'm going on into this animal stuff. I know it works. There's so many females here. Um, I'm thinking about the culture of sharing, that sharing is caring. This is a word that we're hearing all the time, right? That's how I looked like, like 10 years ago. It was all mine, mine, mine. I'm blogging, I'm producing content, and I want to try to protect my content each and every day because people were stealing my content. Well, I thought they were stealing my content. Actually, they just wanted to participate, right? So every time someone is stepping onto our home turf, we're getting kind of annoyed, right? They want to take something away from us. It's bothering us. It's all about this attitude of protecting our wealth and protecting our uh, specific environment, right? And someone is doing the same thing, exactly the same thing that we are doing. Oh my God, competition. There are no competitors. There are only potential corporation partners. We just need to get it, right? So look. Well, whether you look like a guy that looks like uh, Obama and you're sharing this huge little sandwich over there or you're sharing an ice cream, but it also turns into businesses, car sharing services all over the place. Over here in Taipei, we have this bicycle sharing uh, service, which is fantastic. File sharing is huge. And I'm not only talking about BitTorrent and getting all the copies and privacy, whatever. I can't live anymore without Dropbox because I can share files and content with people all over the planet. It's a fantastic where, uh, world. Facebook, Twitter, Blur, Flickr, YouTube, they couldn't live, they couldn't exist without the culture of sharing because that's their business, that people are sharing content. You know, think about the Generation Z that don't want to work without the internet. They're defining themselves about sharing content on their Facebook wall. And of course, it's also about sharing knowledge. That's what we're doing over here, or at least I try to do that in five minutes, minutes which is kind of hard for me. Um, <laughs> sharing, sharing knowledge, the open source, the fundamental open source philosophy is about sharing knowledge. Look at these fantastic little services or programs, Android, uh, Linux, WordPress, Firefox, or GIMP. Without people sharing their knowledge, this would have never ever happened. Wikipedia, how cool is that? I can grab now, I can grab my smartphone, can go to Wikipedia and have the wisdom of mankind in the palm of my hands. And I can access it everywhere and it's for free because people were sharing knowledge for free. An interesting guy over here is Francis Galton. He was kind of bringing up the idea of crowdsourcing and swarm intelligence. So in the beginning of the 20th century, there was a street fair in London and uh, he made a quite interesting experiment. So there was a bull over there. And well, that was timing, wasn't it? Uh, there was a bull over there at the street fair. And he was um, making this survey, asking all the people that were attending the street fair about the weight of the bull. And over 800 participants guessed the weight. So that's the result. 800 participants, average guest weight, 1197 pounds, 
and the weight of the bull was 1198. That tells you a little bit about small intelligence and why sharing is so important and why it's so important that we're sharing our ideas. So please get out there, share your ideas. Patterns are so 20th century, right? If it's just about people that are trying to feed these patent lawyers and patent officers or whatever to create a new business. It's all about sharing. You're giving a little bit into the community, into the biggest community of the world, which is this earth. And you're getting so much back. And that's why I really would like to, would like you guys to start, share your ideas, and make connections, and finally, really taking care of each other. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Sasha. I, I echo that sentiment, sharing. What a fantastic thing. And I'd like to take the opportunity to encourage everyone in this room to think about think about what you might want to talk about in an Ignite event in the future. So 